What's up? I know. It's your girl Rachel. This is Rachel Social Life TV. If you're new, I'm Rachel. Hi. But anyway, I'm going to record a long overdue video because I bet everybody's like, I know people know how to get a work from home or they've seen where you can work from home. And I've worked from home for a year now. And. I've gotten a couple of questions on how I got the job and what exactly does it entail and what exactly do you do. So I'm going to just go ahead and just do this mass video on how to get a work from home job in the different work from home company work from home companies that there are that I know of. Um so I currently will be working for a company called Concentrix and it'll be I'll um, specialize in um sales um for a company. Um legal reasons I can't disclose what the company it's for, but it's customer service work at home and they basically will send me everything I need. So basically working from home is like a regular nine to five job. Um this time, like my last one was for a company called Sutherland Global Services. So I will leave a link to the companies that I've worked for, and I'll leave a link to other companies that I've actually found out about, but I haven't really applied for because I can't apply for them because I don't live in a like I live don't live in a state that they qualify for. Luckily enough for me, I found three companies that. Um, do um i do qualify for since i live in north carolina um so being like so i guess first things first is the first company i worked for which was sitel which was a seasonal position and it was customer service for a particular um company um i guess i can say because i no longer work for them it was toys r us and it was seasonal so it was during you know christmas and all that so with that entails, I went to, I actually found it on Indeed, but I actually went to their actual website and I'll leave that, like I said, I'll leave everything in the description box below. And I basically applied, um, I heard back, heard something back within a week. Um, I did an over the phone interview and let's see, I did... I applied, I took a test, then I did a interview over the phone with the automated system just answering questions, general questions on if you ever done customer service before and if you ever dealt with a irate customer, how did you handle it, how did you handle difficult phone calls or difficult situations, like basically general customer service questions. So I answered those and then about a week or so I want to say I got an actual phone call from an actual human resource recruiter and she answered basically the same questions have I ever worked for a home, um, how I have a, or have I ever worked for customer service, which I've had, I've had, I've worked for Converted, where I live, which is like 30 minutes away, which is in Hickory, which I, where I used to live. Um, so I've worked for them before, so I've done customer service and so... I've done it like both ways. I guess CNA is kind of sort of customer service, but it's actually taking care of someone. And then I've also done, you know, phone call center customer service. So um, I got the call. She said give give her a couple of days. I got the call Monday. So she said give it like two or three days and she'll insert all the information to and hire up and someone higher up in human resources and then they'll email me on the next steps. So I got an email with an offer letter, so I pretty much accepted it. I had to do a background check, which she told me over the phone, which I kind of knew I got the job over the phone when she's like, but we're going to go ahead. Well, yeah, they, she told me over the phone that we're going to go ahead and just move forward with you. And these are the next steps that you have to do before, before your actual class date that your classes start, my training starts. So I had to 
approve the offer letter. I had to e-sign the offer letter. Also, um, get verified, like verified by um, someone that could stamp it, which would be, in, ooh, I know the name of it. I can't think of it, but if you know somebody that is like, it's just basically something that you can verify your identification, which means you have to show them your identification, which I showed my driver's license through my social security card. And I emailed that in. Um, actually, I had my mama scan it in because it would be easier for her to do it. And then I actually, then I had to go do a drug test, which I did um, at Urgent Care. Which there's one in Lenore, so I had to go to the one in Lenore because we didn't, we don't have one. It's like fast care, urgent, it looks like ad, urgent care, fast care, something like that. Um, here in North Carolina, I think they're elsewhere. I had to go there, go there, do a drug test. We all know that's gonna complete because I don't do drugs. Drugs are not good for you, but so I did that. Um, everything came back clean. My background check came back clean. The background check took about a week. Um, and so basically I started that job basically with that entails it sent they sent me everything um only thing I had to have only thing that you really necessarily have to have well it also depends on what cup like department you'll end up working for because Sideshow outsources it to different um companies Toys R Us I think they do Starbucks Amazon Apple, like they do different departments. It just depends on what they have a higher need for at that time. So they basically see the only thing I have to have is internet, which will be connected through an ethernet cord. So where my office is, is in my parents' bedroom because that's where the desktop is and everything. So I basically just had to get an log enough ethernet cord to reach in there into here um in there and then they sent everything else they sent i had my own monitor so they sent a thin client um the phone the headset the mouse they sent mouse and keyboard they sent it all anything that you ever you needed was just a monitor and i had that so that was that company and that was seasonal like i said um it could have become per permanent, but it just depends on the need for the p particular company. Do not be like me and get sick and miss days, because that's what hurt me being able to move on with a different department, which is fine with me. It's okay. It's my mistake. I'm a grown woman. I can own it to my mistake. Um, and then the company I worked for was next next one was Sutherland, and it was for some cable company up north and basically they did, did the same thing it was basically the same thing I had to drug test I had to go to lab corp which is in Hinkery where I live do a drug test background check that whole nine and then they sent they sent everything like from the monitor to the keyboard everything else I needed they sent everything, even the phone. So, what happened with that one was you had to make a, like, for that particular company department that I would have been working for. I, was, I would have been working for Sutherland, but they were outsourcing. I was outsourcing me to a cable company up north. And that particular cable company required you to make, like, an 80 on the final exam you could take it twice I had failed it twice by five points mind you this with Sutherland it's different with Sutherland it's four hours of in-class time and then the four hours or however long it takes you to do your outside work which basically means whatever you learn basically at your own pace you do different modules that your trainer gives you the day not before you do them the next day before your actual your training class so with me i literally worked my butt off on them things that i passed all of them like there was exams after and i passed them all like i made a hundred 
90 on them and then the final glam I don't know what happened I don't know what happened so the most study 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 and this time around I don't start to the 18th so with concentrics it was basically the same thing I had to only thing I didn't have to do was a drug test I did have to do a background check and an I-9 verification which basically means you get someone in that is certified in stamping documentation send it in and they'll you know basically send you everything out like go from there so i sent in everything that i needed to send in the only con about this job is that my first two checks will be mailed to me not direct deposited and i don't know exactly where they're coming from so i'll ask we'll see um, they best, they're sending me everything except for the monitor and the keyboard and mouse. So they're sending a webcam too, cause like I guess we have, there's, we do meetings on webcams. Um, there are some other companies that I've applied for. There's Teletech, there's Telenet work, there's actual Apple work from home. There is actual Amazon work from home, um, and I'll leave those, you know, descriptions to those in the description box below. And if you have any more questions and want to know more about working from home or how to get a work from home job or how do you find it, leave them in the comments section below and I'll do another sit down video. Or I'll just answer them in the comments and I'm going to let you guys go because I didn't want this video to be too long. But that is basically how you get a work from home job. Find them, the major companies that are known as Satel, Sutherland, Amazon, um, Concentrix is, is not really well known, but it's there. Concentrix is there, people. I think they hire in certain states, but just I'll leave the description box. I'll leave the links to those websites in the description box below. And I will talk to y'all guys tomorrow, later, pretty gang, because I'm going to sit down and do another video. But I love you, pretty gang. Stay pretty. And hope everybody has a great week. Bye.